Hello and welcome to OpenTTD. We are joining us in the year 1907 and we're still on the progress of optimizing our network. So what we shall do is our usual thing, which is to look at which station is the most waiting cargo. And it is Fessel, sorry, Bad Hofang. Wow. Yeah, uh, Bad Hofang, little, little town here. A lot of people want to go to the city center. We investigated that previously and we were adamant that people should simply be able to walk. Like, what's up with that, guys? 2,800 people decide they do not want to walk. So, hmm. I think we did those buses here, right? Yeah. Well, I guess, honestly, just throw more buses at the problem. It's my, my idea. Why not? Can I just spot these buses here? Like, what's the profitability and stuff on them? Mm, not so good, but also not so bad. I guess let's see with three buses how that will turn out. So let's take a look at here. Marked, marked read docks. Interesting. 300 passengers. That's not too bad. 300 passengers go to want to go to Bad Hofang. Right. So they want to cross here. Hmm. There's already a few boats. This one is a direct one. All right. This one is a direct ferry. That's which one am I selecting here right now? It's a bit cryptic. This one not. This one, not this one. All right. So this one is the direct ferry. And um, it's not that profitable, is it? Because it doesn't have that many passengers on the way back. Hmm. Wait, where is it? Here. Hmm. There's only eight passengers on it. And it takes a hundred back with it. Like honestly, that's not that bad. Like they need to be patient. If they all want to go there, then take the train, guys. Like take the train. Don't don't wait on the boat. So pull now. Pull now. Three hundred people. That's also very reasonable. Pull now. Pull now east. Um, right. So they are serving that. So are they timetabled? They are not auto separated, like not auto timetabled because they're all stuck together. That's why I'm asking. So this seems like it could also just be a temporary problem because it seems like they're all coming in and picking those passengers up. Yeah, now they all want to go to Mika Savage dock, which is fine. There's a big sailboat coming here in a second. Does it like make sense like to do like an engineering project where we build like a canal? to shorten the route is that crazy like to want to shorten the route like that much to build a canal hmm. i mean here it's trivial right yeah what's those anyway sand sand banks that makes sense the valley here also i see well it's quite far for a canal but not out of the question not out of the question we do have a bit of money left over the demand might be there. The demand might just be there between these two cities, is it? Definitely. Although the boats are... Oof, they're bringing in quite a lot of passenger. They want to go to the train station. But the boat picked up everybody. Hmm. Is this little ferry doing the same route? Yeah, I cannot imagine that that's profitable, is it? It's wildly profitable. That's one of the most profitable things we've ever seen. Like these things are not profitable. Um, yeah, no, I think that actually that would make the profitability though go up. Uh, for sure, actually. So, locks. Yeah, I think we need to have like locks here. I don't know, can I build it like that? Nope. Huh. I guess they need to be longer interesting that's too 
So it needs to be at minimum four, I guess, to be lockable. Yeah. With a little bit of uh, terraforming, we could make this work here. Yeah, let's do it. Committed to the plan. All right. So, and then here maybe? Is that the shortest distance? Can I measure that? Like this is the distance of 11. And um, let's say here, for example, it's also 11. Up here it's 10. All right. Up here then. That sounds reasonable. Okay, dry docking that and then building a canal. Like what's one tile costing us here? Oh, that's very cheap. That's very cheap actually. That's very reasonable. 400, 400 pounds, it's nothing. That's very, very reasonable. Oh, there's another little boat here. Look at that. Let's see how it goes through the dry docks. All right, nice, nice. I think that shortens the time quite significantly, to be honest. Even just this dry dock alone is shortening it quite a lot because you can go diagonal here instead of going all the way around here. It's crazy how much that should help. Just want to observe like this ship here. These are 32 kilometers. Can we have faster ships maybe? Let's take a look. Steamships, right? That's what they are. 32. 45 for a fast paddler, 300, yeah, castle point steamer, yeah, the steamers, we should replace those, uh, they're not profitable enough to be worth it, maybe, oh, nice, nice, oh, it looks kind of goofy, they're a little bit too long, <laughs> and they lower their mast, I mean, that makes maybe sense even, to be honest, uh, but yeah, Passengers, um, pull now Mika Savici, replacing the vehicles, and we're gonna replace the steamship here with the fast paddle one. Well, this one is crazy, 720. What's the running cost here? Wow, way too expensive. That's also too expensive, really, realistically. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna tell you what. I will replace these two, and we will kind of, the two small ones we'll, we'll throw out. The two small ones, they're too, too small for, for our operation nowadays. So those two will decommission, and they have a running cost of uh, 2,000, yeah. So we will, kind of almost double the capacity 700 compared to 300 and then this boat has like 100 something like that i think it's roughly like that we'll roughly double capacity after the upgrades and uh, that'll be fine oof you're taking the really long way around huh you really want to delay this uh this cutting scrap business as much as possible Okay, what's about that news? It's fake news, right? Yeah, that's definitely fake news. But the captain here is really like taking the scenic route. Like one last time, the old route for the for the passengers. Oh come on, get in the get in here and the passengers can they need to swim back to to the harbor. Yeah, this is getting scrapped. I'm sorry, Captain, but that's the progress of time, unfortunately, for you. Can I get you quickly to turn around and get replaced? I just want to see the new ship in action one time. Okay, all right, come on out. Ooh, look at that, fast. That's fast, all right. Let's get this one also. Oh, okay. They're a little bit, there can only be one ship going through, I guess. I didn't know that. 
Well, it's logical, I suppose. Oh, nice. Did we lose the passengers that are on the boat when you replaced it? Actually, no. All right. That does make sense. Cool. So let's check back here in Bad Hof Farm. We still have 2,000 people. There's one bus here waiting awfully long. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's ignore it. Pull now we've kind of fixed. Blaustadt Fish Market. All right. 188. That's also very reasonable. That's not so many people. That's not so many people. And they want to go to Salt Warren. Salt Warren up here. All right. Okay, here we also have like a pretty long going steamer here that has quite a good capacity overall. Let's take a quick look at upgrading those. Salt Warren, is that the ones? Yes. So can we take a look here? They're profitable, decently profitable. And if we wanted to Those are paddle steamer. Am I mistaken? Those are passenger boats, yeah? Because those are kind of different ones that I saw before, I didn't see before. Like, who are those? Coal refittable. Interesting. But you are carrying passengers. It's just refitted somehow. All but passenger and mail. Cast point steamer. Is that the one we just bought? I think so. It's roughly the same, but it has much more reliability, it has more capacity for our people, and it's definitely faster, so this is a great deal. So let's replace those. Let's take a look at this route here for now. It's also an improfitable improf route, and it's a super long one. And these super long routes, I think we want to have fast vehicles here. So even though this is maybe still okay for normal operations, we want to have a faster one, not such a big one. This has like much more uh, cost. That's maybe the downside. So yeah, we're gonna replace it also with this one. Yeah. Uh, but we are going to decommission three of those boats for for uh, saving some money. Okay, please find your nearest uh, stop. Now, it kind of replaces them now that I do that. That's okay. A little bit waste of money, but we have the money now. Okay, come on. Okay. Let's just quickly scan here this one. I'll just without even looking at it, also replace it with the same one. It just makes sense to me. Steamship, okay. I'm just always confused looking at this list. Uh, maybe we should just kind of hide whatever we don't use, but it feels like maybe they're useful for something else, but we're not transporting anything else anyway. Uh, this one, no, this one, yeah. Uh, this one replaced, these ones replaced, this ones are looking different. Okay, maybe the docks now. More in order. I say, like, everything that's actually uh, filled up is passenger is with passengers is actually docks. Like, everything is docks. Docks, 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 docks. They're the bad ones. Interesting. What did, oh. That's why. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. All right, this is gotta be the the boat episode for no reason. While uh, people in Mitter 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 Markt here are angry at our company for <laughs> neglecting the train service upgrades, uh, we've been busy <laughs> working on the boats. <laughs> but that's okay. That's bo boats are fun as well. I, I, I like trains more, but boats are fun. Yeah. So Saint Stefan, we we know that problem. Uh, so they want to come up here. And the people up here, they want to go to Mittermarkt. So there's definitely a mutual kind of demand on this track. C 
Could we just run like a train that's like just connecting these two? Does that make sense? I feel like this is already pretty busy here. But we already kind of did that. Not really, but it's kind of like a longer route. Hmm. But I guess that still makes sense to me. Like just buy two more of those trains. The demand seems to be there. The profitability, not quite, not quite. Okay, let's say we dealt with that problem. And that probably also helps them, right? Because they probably want to go to Feldau. Yes, exactly. But between Feldau, we also have these small small buses here. That's good. And a thousand people here want to go to Serpent. So the longer route here also helps, definitely. Um, yeah, this longer route here just makes sense for everybody involved. It just helps no matter what. Then let's go at marked because savage iron stone that we haven't had that in a while but there are a lot of trains that go there maybe it's just a temporary thing that they haven't come yet why are you not entering i felt like i feel like you could have entered that earlier are they using these three platforms they are hopefully right why am i no no they definitely aren't using them for sure Yeah, they definitely are. Good. Um, then, St. Leonhard. This is a new one. Bus station with 2,800 people who are going to want to go to Reed. Oh my god. You're like, kind of like, just I just connected you up for fun to Tafel. I mean, clearly... The two cities here they uh, have a huge interest in transportation so I think we will not stand in their way we will definitely enable that by building a tram route I feel like okay we'll just run it along this winding route here that's the natural way between the two cities and that's an interesting looking garage yeah but we will also I think build a connection between here and there like just a tunnel project just to shorten that route up a little bit uh, I kind of wanted to have like the better route road surface paved zone as a lot better <laughs> yeah and um, yeah the progress demands that we put, put some thing here for renovation purposes that's fine and that'll be I think maybe even the first tram that goes through a tunnel that we have so they still need to turn around here so I feel like we will do a little renovation here as well and connect things up back here through the fields and immediately the bus here wants to run that route nice okay cool and we might connect also that suburb up here but that will require also a little bit of a small configuration here like that and that will be also maybe where we place our depot yeah for the tram though yes okay so little tram and also a few more stations uh, firstly down here in the south then up here in the woods I guess uh, outside here in the outskirts and um, yeah Reed they will have to go with one station only for now this is financed by St. Leonhardt I guess this is the Reed Woods actually all oh, right this is uh, connected to you hmm, interesting 
So passenger, yes, was drawn is the best. Nope, open. Yeah, the reliability on the horse is better, but I will go with this one. So we'll start here in the south. We will go here to the city, then to the wood station, then here to woods, then here, and then on the way back we'll go here and there. That will be kind of the route. And we will put yeah, whatever, seven on them. Seven of them on there. That sounds good. Timetabling them. Let's take a peek. Where did we place it? Oh, down here. All right. Nice. Okay, and these little buses, we will then... Uh, they already only go to St. Leon. Okay, then what, what bus goes to Reed anyway? Is there like a second class of bus that goes also to Reed? Yeah, you. You're the Reed St. Leon Hard Bus. Okay, you will be decommissioned then, unfortunately for you. But we will finance you a new education as a tram driver. So we will we are looking for those. Uh, so um, yeah, to kind of anyway sort things here a little bit, since I was a bit lazy here. Mm. Road vehicles, yeah. That's like interesting. Fifteen of them. What what did I do there? Those are the new trams. Okay, here we go. Uh, they are the St. Leonhard, or alternatively they could be called after the other town, Reed, yes, here we go, Reed, St. Leonhard. So here we go, we'll sort those in, and these two buses, no wonder that the demand was uh, not being met. Send those two for servicing, please. Uh, the buses are a little bit faster than the trams, maybe. I have that feeling, but that's okay. These two bus drivers, or maybe four bus drivers that are working this rotation, we will get them behind the wheel of a tram. Give them a new job. And yeah, that seems to seems to work. So they will they will be digging at that slowly. There's a few people who want to go to any station. They kind of lost interest now that the buses are gone, I guess. They had the plan to take the bus. So it's interesting also as a learning. They are fixated on taking a specific transportation. I didn't know that. Yeah, going to Feldau here. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is just a very busy station. Saltborn Dairy Central. So let's take a look at this one as the last one. They want to go to Mitterbirgen. Mitterbirgen. That's not here. That's Mittermarkt. Mitterbirgen. All right, down here. Mm -hmm. Another one of those like satellite routes that we just built for fun that just became extremely popular now. Uh, so here, likewise, maybe this is a. Maybe this could just be an extension of the tram network. I feel like yes, like I think that's fairly common, like to have like these suburban, like these tram lines that go out in the suburbs. Um, because I think it makes some sense. Trams are really nice, they're fast, they're regular. I think there's a very attractive value proposition for, for people compared to buses. I don't know. I also like uh, like light rail more than buses. I have the choice. Okay, where's that station? It's exactly here, All right? Okay. Come on. Cool. I hope that that fixes things, okay. And then in the interest of basically connecting people up, I mean, we're basically on the way there, we'll make a few more stops because I think there's just no reason not to grab that passenger ship, like building a little little tram station somewhere, even if it doesn't hugely attract pad ridership, I think it's just nice. 
And I think that will also convince people that it's a good good thing compared to the buses, which were stopping much less uh, frequently. They only had like a direct connection, now they have like an intermediary stops all the way. I think that's a very, as I said, very attractive value proposition for people. Um, yeah, I kind of want to get rid of that depot here. I'll place a new depot here. It's also like a very fancy bridge up here, over here to, to this town. Are the buses also going over there? They are. Interesting. So maybe there is a small value proposition for the buses still. Hmm, I guess, I guess we will cancel the, the stop here in Mittabirgen. Yeah, they have to, no, sorry, not Mittabirgen, in, in Saltwarren. Yeah, they have to go only from here to there. People can take the tram until here and then switch over. I think that's fair. It's a fair compromise, I think. Yeah. But to not get confused later, let's just also make sure that we rename that. Uh, this is the, what was it called, Salt Warren. So passengers, Salt Warren to Salt Einde, and we will rename that to the Mittabirgen, Salt Weinde. That's fine. And then we need to get some of those nice trams here on the line. Yeah, 32 kilometers per hour. So we'll go to Mittebirgen, we'll go to Central, then to the Halt, then to Transfer, where you don't actually transfer, uh, then to North, Woods, then Southborn Transfer, Woods again, and then up to the Central, yes. And then on the way back we go Woods, Transfer, Mittebirgen, North, transfer to the halt, central, and then Metabir. Something like that, yeah. I mean, this circle, a little bit unnecessary, maybe, but. And we'll put like 12 of them on there, yeah. We want to have like a good amount of them, like that they consistently run and really incentivize the ridership here. Let's run them out. Nice, nice. And they are going to pick up a significant portion of those waiting people here. And yeah, a few people already kind of like seem to want to go just to this station. Ah, I guess they reconsidered, yeah. They are now like, let's go to anywhere, basically, because uh, once we removed the bus from there, yeah, it was not so interesting anymore. Does that also mean that there's 2,000 people standing here that don't know where to go? Yes, it does. All right, that's also a way to solve that problem, basically. Cool, then I will call that a small success and I will call out to the episode here. Thanks for joining me, see you next time.